All right, everyone, welcome back to part two of our Minecraft Dungeons Jungle um, walkthrough on what exactly? I forget what map we're on here. We're in the temple now, in the overgrown temple. Um, but this is part two. So part one, uh, we kind of did the first half of it. It was getting a little bit long, so I decided just to split it up into two parts. I don't know how you'll be seeing this or how I'll put it out. We'll kind of figure it out as we go because there is some holiday stuff holiday um, events that are going to be coming down the line probably already live as you guys are watching that, that I do want to take advantage of so we are going to just continue on our main path here so thus far we've just been progressing through this temple area um, oof, okay that was not good they were not happy about that but we did find this like secret area to go into. I don't well, I don't know if it really is a secret area, but we had to pretty much unlock it uh, by moving some pillars around. There we go. We did pick up some Merc armor, and we do have a TNT block here. I thought I heard a chest pop as well. I did. Here's the chest, and we got some Ocelot armor. That is pretty cool. All right, let's throw the, that in there. And we'll just keep moving on. There's wow, there's so much to explore here. I guess we'll look over here first in these areas because can we get through there? No, we can't. Okay. It does look like there is a button right there. So we'll have to figure out how we can get into that one. Which is it appears yeah, it appears like we have to come around. So okay. Easy enough to do. Let's keep moving on. Let's keep trekking. Oh, we got a big hoss. There we go. Taking them out. Ooh, we did get some arrows. We have so many arrows. Almost 600 arrows from this, which is insane that we have that many arrows. Looks like we have to hit the button to progress that way, maybe? Ooh, okay. Well, didn't mean to do that, but that's obviously what we needed to do for that scenario. We do have a big hoss here. Alright, get some arrows going, come on. And luckily we have our ability to shoot through the walls and we did level up enchantment point earned, which is awesome. Okay, so we do have a chest here at the end, I will do that. We did get some thief armor, which, um, good melee speed, but other than that, I don't know if it's really worth it for us. We've been picking up a lot of stuff as we've been going through this dungeon, so we do have these buttons. So we get that one. That definitely opened something. Yeah. Heard, you heard that? That definitely opened it. And I think this is the way that we need to keep going here. Alright. Whoa, okay. That just disappeared out of view. Ha! Ah, interesting. So what are we doing in here? Okay, we got some enemies. Well, we had one skeleton. I hear a zombie. What is the point of me being here? Okay, now they're pissed. There is a chest here, too. Let's see what we get from a chest. We did get a soul bow. Yikes. Okay. We uh, just annihilated that whole area. Take them out, too. We got some big hosses we got to fight through now. Definitely want to keep my distance from these guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. I love the sound for those guys. It's so funny. Okay. Anything else? Nope, that was it. And we did get our chest with some more ocelot armor. And uh, that's going to do it for the secret area. So let's hop out of here. And it actually brings us back to the start right above where we... Uh... Oh, that's interesting. Okay, right above where we uh, came in at. So we can come back out here and we do need to get this gate open. So let's go and do that. So that's the main path we're on here. We need to get the sun gate open. We do need to get the key, and it is this way. I've already gone through down this way and cleared out all the enemies. We should be good. I know that there's going to be enemies that pop up once we hit some of these buttons here. So, already knew it. I'm prepared, kind of. Oh, yikes. Okay. Maybe I wasn't prepared that well. Oh, big hoss, big hoss, big hoss. Big hoss, big hoss. We're about to die. We're about to die. We died. 
That is our second death. I actually did die before off camera, um, unfortunately, so. But it did spawn us out this way, so I guess we just have to, like, fire through to take them out. There we go. We got them taken out. Um, we definitely cannot die again. Alright, well, that's going to open it for us. Okay, I missed fire. I did not mean to do that. Please be, like, the easiest one. That's what I need right now. I don't need another hard fight here. Alright. Okay, oof. We didn't get any big hosses in that one, so we are good. That did unlock this whole way so we can grab the key. Come with me, key. And back down to the gate we go. I don't think any more enemies are going to spawn along our path here. Oh, okay, a couple did. Nothing bad, though. Oh, we dropped our key. Come here, key. There we go. Now we need to reach the sun room. That is what we are progressing towards here. Alright. It'll be interesting to see. Oh, okay. It closed behind us. That doesn't make me feel good. Uh, that does not make me feel good. Okay. All right, cool. Not too bad, just a couple of creepers they're trying to throw at us to throw us off our game. As you can see, we are advancing up the hill here. More creepers. Get them all taken out here. Oof, yikes, okay, he got us pretty good. And I think that was it. Yep, so we can keep progressing forward. We did get a chest from that one, actually. With another soul ball. Okay, let's take, a, let's take a hot minute here. And let's go through some of these and just get rid of what we really don't need. Um, since I am recording this after... Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Since I'm recording this right after the first one, this is part two, so it's like right in rapid succession, I should say. Um... I obviously haven't seen any of your guys' comments if you have left any for me, so uh, just keep that in mind. But I do appreciate them as you guys uh, leave them. I do try to read through them. Damage reduction. I don't know. Maybe we'll hold on to that one. That one just looks interesting. It has roll charge, rapid fire, chain reaction, and tempo theft. Eh, it doesn't... It's not that intriguing okay that should be fine we did uh, give us enough time to get our uh potion back up so we can use that it does look like we're gonna get into a boss battle here abolish the abomination this is the boss boys here we go oh my god it's group it's group wow okay this is gonna be a tough battle and i'm a little um sad because we, um, I don't have any, um, I don't have any more health lives. Okay, jeez, oh my gosh. I have no health. I have no form of health. Okay, just keep moving here. Just keep moving until we get our potion back. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, we can take him out from a distance. He's very slow, so... If we keep our distance, we should be fine, but it's definitely going to be a long battle. I don't know if he has different types of moves or anything like that. Okay, let's get out of that. Yeah, luckily we have like 600 arrows, so we should be fine. To just do distance shots okay so this is like kind of a lackluster one he has a lot of a lot of health though that's what's kind of 
getting us. And you can see that the shard is like right there. Okay. Oh, we got some big hosses spawning in. My least favorite. Yeah, they do so much damage. Okay. I think we just need to be careful of these things that pop up then too. Sorry, not much commentary, boys. I'm, I'm gonna keep moving. <clears throat> Get some good shots off on him. Okay, we're in the last stages here. Okay, move. Oh lord, okay. Oh lord. Okay. Just keep keep a distance here. Keep a distance. Keep a distance till our health potion pops back up. Okay, we're good. Get that guy taken out. Because they could get us into a pinch really quickly. Okay, we're good. We're doing good work, I feel like. Let's just keep moving here. Okay. We're good, we're good. Move. 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 Oh, we didn't move in time. Yikes, okay. We're almost there, though. We almost got him. We do have health potions, so let's use that. And we got him. We got the boss. Again, it was not that bad. We did get a nocturnal bow from that. Ooh, okay. Steals speed, one soul gathered. Okay, it's kind of cool. Definitely looks very similar to a soul bow. Um, no doubt about that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so that was it. We fought the boss here. We don't have anything else here, so we can keep moving forward. And then find a way out. That's just our last thing. So we took out that um, abomination, as they called it. And now our last thing to do is get out of here. So I guess I could have lumped this into it, lumped it into the last um, episode. I didn't realize how close we actually were with things, but it would have been like a 40 minute episode, so. Ooh. There's a lot of guys here. There we go. Get them all taken out. apple and that's our way out so that's gonna be it we did miss two chests which is kind of surprising that we missed that many chests i felt like we've pretty much discovered everything but there could have been maybe little areas that we did not get to With the but that's gonna do it defeated and the shard destroyed the jungle begins to recover from its nightmare so that's technically the end of I think that's the end of the DLC. There is a secret area that we can go and explore as well that we discovered in our first episode of it, which was a little bit ago. Let's see what we get as a reward from this, though. Um, but we have not gone to the secret area yet. We get a wind horn, so nothing crazy. Uh, yeah, it pushes enemies away from you. Nothing that strange. And then our blacksmith is done, so we can collect our bow, and we can collect our sickles here which is awesome. Um, so our sickles are not bad, definitely a lot quicker. Um, but this, add two souls gathered. Like we have the soul build out right now. So I don't know if I really want to go off of that. And then the phantom armor is awesome. It would be cool if we could find a better version of it though. That's for sure. A better version would be really, really nice. Um, let's do a restock here. Let's see if we can get some populated in here. No, but we did get a soul scythe. But that's only plus one. Eh. 
what is it, 150 to restock again? Let's just, I'm trying to see, like, can we get something that's good here? Restock is 300 now for it, eh. Ooh, what is this? Corrupted seeds grow grapple vines which infect poison. What? I have not seen that before. Let's put that on reserve. That would be kind of cool. And then let's check the mystery merchant. Well, we don't have anything really from the mystery merchant. Um, cancel that. I guess we could buy this mystery. Eh, let's do a restock. We have an armor. We do not. Random artifact, random item. Nothing really that great. We can do another restock here and just see if we can get an armor. Grim armor. 50% soul. Okay. The grim armor could be good as well. Depending on what all it comes with, right? So 525 health. 50% souls gathered. Um, and then that increases range damage, though. That's what we're really relying on, though. So this isn't that great, unfortunately. Little bit of a bummer there. But... That does wrap up this area. This is pretty much done, other than the Panda Plateau, which we could do. But I'm guessing it's going to be a lot to get through it. I'm guessing it's not a short one. And I really don't want to get myself into another area where we have... Um... I do want to upgrade this. Um, I don't want to get us into another area where we have to do like a part two again or something like that. So I guess what we could do in the meantime is I really would like some different soul armor, right? And the creeper crypt offers it. We could try there and see if we could get some better luck. Um, what is it? Phantom armor? Yeah, the phantom armor is there, but we could also get it from this daily trial in the soggy cave. Let's do that. Let's try the soggy cave daily trial. Since we do have some time left to uh, cover in this episode. Alright, find the lost ruins. This, is, this shouldn't be too hard, honestly. Um, what is this? Mob speed is increased by 30%. 50% of melee mobs are replaced with baby zombies. The player only has torment arrows, so it doesn't even matter. We already have the arrows that we want. Oh, we're set then. I don't even have to worry. Oh, this is going to be the best. I didn't even read that we only had Torment Arrows. Talk about the best daily that we could go through with our build, where we only have Torment Arrows. Well, I guess this makes sense then, like, if you're going through on your own to, um, you know, if you have different builds, like, this is where your different builds come into play. Alright, so, uh, you guys probably remember how to do this. This is the area that a lot of people will, um, grind on to progress the blacksmith. So pretty much all we gotta do is just fight off... All these enemies unlock a redstone gate, and uh, that's pretty much it. It's, it's pretty straightforward. I do just want to be careful with our arrows, because obviously we only have so many. This is not bad, though. Like, again, of all the ones... For them to uh, hook, set us up with. All the daily trials to go through. We would get the one that uh, has only torment arrows. Alright, and that signals us that we're good to keep going. Now, I know that there's probably a pattern to this. But I don't know what it is. So this is what I do. Until I figure it out. <laughs> on each one. There's two of them that we have to do. So I'll do that on each one. All right, cool beans. It'd be really nice, too, if we could get a piece of phantom armor that had swift-footed on it, because this is one of my favorite enchantments to have. All right, there we go. Get this put in here. Oh, nice. He took some damage there somehow. 
Like, we don't even need to use our torment ones. Just completely annihilated. Alright. My logical way of doing things. I had really good luck. There we go. I was going to say, I had really good luck on the first one. Or I was able to get it pr pretty quickly by doing that. Alright, and that's going to... Uh, I mean, this is going to be really quick. It's a quick dungeon to go through. So that's why a lot of people will farm it when they're trying to get through the blacksmith stuff. Alright, what did we get? So we got some... We got a cutlass. We got an arrow bundle. A totem of regeneration. And then more of that. So... Unfortunately, nothing that I really wanted. This could be decent. The totem of regeneration is actually pretty nice, and we might want to hold on to it, but I'm going to get rid of that. Look at all our legendary gear that we have, and we're running out of space here. I really wish they would have an update where they added storage. Like, that would be so nice. I don't know why they don't. But there are so many things that I would love to just store away. All right. Well, that's going to do it. Victory on the daily. Right there. Easy peasy. Back to base camp we go. Alright, so let's check out. Phantom armor question mark? No, but we did get an ancient bow. Is that a legendary? It is. Wow, okay. I don't think we have that, do we? We don't have that legendary. Okay, let's just get rid of this. Oh, the exploding is so... That one's so nice, too. But, oh my gosh. I can't believe we got a, an ancient bow from that. But, I mean, we really don't need it, so it doesn't really much matter. Phantom armor would be awesome. I don't know. I don't think you can get... You can get legendary armor. Okay. It's like, I don't know if you can get legendary armor. A soul robe. Interesting. See, but that does 50% souls gathered. But this one does range damage. That's what we really want. The range damage. And we, of course, we got a soul robe then from the mystery one. Bag of souls plus one soul gathered. Eh. It's just not what I need. It's not what we need here. Okay, let's check this guy out. What does he have? An ice wand. I mean, I guess this is from the uh, Ice Forest DLC. Hundred. Wow, Stun's Mob creates a large ice block that can crush your foes. Seriously? Seriously. I'm buying it. Let's restock this boy, see if we get some armor. There's another one, another ice wand, but the one we got is better. We get some gauntlets. There you go. Try one more time. Nothing. We're just bombing out with trying to get the armor that we want. Um, this seems really cool though, so I'm gonna stick it on here and we'll hold on to the rest then. We'll hold on to our corrupted pumpkin. Actually, we'll send our corrupted pumpkin into here to uh, upgrade. Let's see if we can upgrade him. I know it might be kind of a waste to do it, but anywho. All right, so we did that one. This daily does not offer us that, unfortunately. I mean, we could go back to the Soggy Cave in hopes of finding another Phantom Armor. All right, let's uh, let's try it again. So we'll go back to the Soggy Cave. We'll try it again. It's not going to be as quick as the last time that we went through this, though, because unfortunately we don't have... Well, could we have played the... Oh, we probably... Could we have done the daily again? Okay, now I'm curious. I've never... I never thought about that. Return to camp, yeah. Can you do the daily twice? I really don't know. I would assume you can't. But we're about to find out. So if we go to our map here. No, already completed at that difficulty. We could go down. Uh, no, we can't even do it on this one. Okay. If we were to go to the default one, we could though. All right. Okay. I mean, it was worth a try to look. So... Uh, you know what actually let's just return to camp i'm not feeling i'm not feeling like going through that again so we'll just keep it in mind let's take a quick peek at the map though so again by you the time you guys are seeing this which i'm just debating if i'll put it out back to back actually like tomorrow or on saturday i might put these out back to back on saturday i don't know 
I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll put one out Saturday, one out Sunday. Anywho, so by that time, the winter quests and events are going to be going on, uh, which will be extremely cool to go and take advantage of. Um, so in the next episode that I do record, which will be tomorrow on the 18th, or at least after the 18th when the events are live, um, we'll be doing those for sure, 100% for sure. We do need to go through and do the Panda Plateau, but once we do the winter events, we'll do the Pl Panda Plateau probably, and then we're going to head over to the Frosted Forge here and start on this path. Because we're definitely at a good enough level for this, and this looks really cool. So guys, actually, you know what I'm going to try? I know we've gone to this like three times. This is our third time going to it, but I did want to try out our new artifact. But guys, with that being said, we are going to wrap up the episode a little bit early here. So I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. Better yet, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking on this series. If you're enjoying it, if you're excited to see what's to come. Whoa, okay, that's pretty sick. All right. Um, If you are new here and you want to follow along, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. I'll let you know every single time a new episode is posted here on the channel. I do stream over on Twitch. Current schedule is Mondays and Fridays, but around the holidays it might be different, so if you really want to keep up to date with those uh, different one-off streams, definitely check out the Twitch link down below. Give it a follow over there to let you know when I do go live, or if you want even a more um, defined time when we're going live, Definitely hit up our Discord. I try to post it over there, give you enough warning too, especially with these uh, one-off ones around the holidays. So I uh, highly recommend joining that and joining the community in general. And there's a, gr a great group of people over there uh, who love playing Minecraft and other games as well. So we try to have a nice time over there and do some chit chat. So, but guys, other than that, thank you so much for tuning in to part two of this uh, series here, of this jungle playthrough series. I will catch you all in the next video. Take it easy.